everybody how you doing um, happy Saturday I uh, really hope you guys are gonna have a wonderful weekend so today I decided to do something different um, when it comes to Jamaican dishes a lot of people have this thing in their heads that um, all we eat is jerk chicken and of course um, smoke weed and all this stuff nah we don't only eat jerk chicken and we don't only smoke weed and not every Jamaican is from Kingston <laughs> anyways Today, I'm doing something that most Jamaicans do on a Saturday. I'm going to prepare soup. Um, soup is consumed on a daily basis by Jamaicans. We have a wide variety of soups. We have peanut soup. We have fish tea or fish soup. We have also seafood soup. We have conch soup. Uh, we have shrimp soup. We have um, vegetable soup. We have beef soup, pea soup chicken soup, chicken foot soup, uh, we have goat soup, we have goat head and belly or we call it manish water soup. We have wide variety of soups and today I'm going to be making goat soup. Um, when I went to the butchers the other day, they um, I bought like I think it was two or three kilos of goat and but I needed just the meat. I didn't want the bones. So he carved it really good for me, cut it up in really nice cubes and uh, then he cut the bones up really nice for me and said this is for soup so I was like ha that's a good idea I've not really made um, a different type of soup yet you know um, I'm missing a lot of stuff because in Jamaica we have a lot of things we put in soup we, we call it food starchy products like yam, um, cassava, dasheen um, these are all stuff that I can find here so here today I have my pumpkin, I have my sweet potato, my carrots, my corn and this is already um, the seasoning cut up already and ready so it's scallion um, or spring onions I'm using a little celery because I like the taste of it um, of course again some carrots um, garlic and other herbs I put and here I have already have my regular Irish potatoes already cut and ready and of course we have the goat here so I'm going to start boiling the goat because it takes a little while to cook because I need it to be very soft, you know. I need all the juices and flavor from the mar to be released in the water. So I'm going to start by cooking this first, you know, and then we just fall into play with everything. It's a very long process, so I'm going to make the video very short. So keep it locked to Yadis Kitchen. And as I said, a lot more to come. I'm going to show you dishes that a lot of people don't want to show. You understand? Very economical dishes, very easy dishes and very tasty also. So stay tuned to Yardis Kitchen, everybody, and happy Saturday. Bless. Yardis Kitchen. Good quality food, so there ain't no switching. Yardis Kitchen. You got the flavor we need, nothing is missing. Alright guys, here it is, the grand finale. So as you can see, the colors I told you that was going to come out. Everything I cook, I like to have a lot of colors in it, yeah? And as you can see, you see I use um, the garnish. I use my spring onion straight from the garden. I will have the corn and floating on the top with the potato against the carrots and stuff. And the meat is at the bottom, yeah? Like the flavor of this is different, man. And as you guys notice, I never really used any salt in this dish because all the flavors from the corn, from the potato, from the sweet potato and um, also the meat, you know, and the pimento and everything, it give it a really nice natural flavor. No oils, nothing added, yeah? So it's a real natural dish, this for me, yeah? I hope you guys like it and feel free to modify it anyhow you want. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, yeah? I'm going to start posting a lot more soup dishes because as I said, we don't only eat jerk chicken in Jamaica, man. And stay tuned for more. Bless up everybody.